successful tinnitus relief or failure? What makes the difference? Hello again and thank you for watching our next video. In this video, we are going to share with you the secret behind successful tinnitus relief. As mentioned in our previous videos, our expertise is based on years of practice treating thousands of tinnitus sufferers in our professional lives. There are cases of people making a quick and lifetime recovery from the tinnitus symptoms and others getting worse. And this is the reason why our experience of working with so many patients has enabled us to successfully modify our treatment and therapy programs over time to accommodate not only the most current research findings from the field of neuroscience and psychology, including the newest technology available, but also by working closely with our patients, we continue to apply the most important and priceless information directly from them. In addition to our work with patients, we take into account feedback from their families, which allows us to create a personalized approach to each individual's needs and care. It's important to mention that our work usually involves severe to catastrophic tinnitus cases, where most of our patients have significant problems caused by long-term stress, anxiety, and frequent hyperacusis or recruitment. Many of our patients see themselves as successful individuals without financial or health issues. Some don't experience hearing problems or have a history of exposure to loud sounds. However, almost all of them share a common thread of long-term stress. This holds true regardless of how seemingly pleasant and happy their personal lives may appear at the moment, especially to someone who isn't well acquainted with their life stories and history. We are also noticing another group of patients more frequently nowadays. This group includes people with tinnitus who have been fitted with maskers and hearing aids, but the maximum output isn't properly adjusted to their comfort level. Additionally, there are individuals with chronic anxiety issues or a history of such problems, but they haven't received the necessary professional psychological support. A lot of these individuals exhibit all the symptoms of catastrophic tinnitus with tinnitus handicap inventory scale scores well above 60 points. Interestingly, some of them complete their treatments with tinnitus no longer bothering them and their mental well-being is in good shape. However, there are tinnitus sufferers that even our clinicians can't assist because they're not open to giving themselves another chance for a life without tinnitus along with any problems related to it or not. In fact, our main goal is to reach out to all of you dealing with significant, severe, or even worse tinnitus problems, because it's crucial to always seek a professional clinic. For more information on this topic, you may want to check our videos Tinnitus Relief, Who to Trust, Where to Go, or Tinnitus Still an Issue? Look for a professional tinnitus clinic. You can find the links to both videos in the description below. But now, as we promised, let's talk about the secret to successful treatment, which is simply commitment and a willingness to follow through with everything we ask our patients to do. And yes, we acknowledge that it can be tough to trust someone who suddenly claims they can end the monstrous nightmare that tinnitus can be for some people especially considering how many previous records of some therapies or interventions were unsuccessful despite how much the tinnitus sufferer not only invested heavily financially, but also put all their trust and hope in them. So how do you convince someone who is reluctant to take another risk and won't believe no matter what is shown, demonstrated or explained? This is the most challenging and crucial part of the treatment process, and it is what ultimately makes the difference between success and failure for tinnitus sufferers. That's why commitments are important, because the treatment process can be slow, and its progression or results will not necessarily manifest within days or weeks. 
Sometimes, especially with the higher producers in the picture, we might have some setbacks as there is no chance we can fully protect our patients from unexpected exposure to noise. In the most severe cases, we can expect panic or anxiety attacks to take place. People may experience them with no connection to the tinnitus with all its symptoms. The reality is, we are working with individuals who have a highly sensitive nervous system. They react to emotional or environmental triggers with panic or anxiety attacks. That's why the initial part of the successful therapy is quite demanding. Sometimes all members of the professional team involved must be prepared to be there for the patient when needed. You might be thinking, hold on, I don't have all these issues you're talking about. I just have tinnitus and most of my daily problems seem to be linked to nighttime or winding down after work. Well, here's the thing. If your tinnitus isn't too complicated, you might not need to see a psychologist or a psychotherapist. But since you are living with tinnitus, it's important to be committed and willing to address the problem. That way you can be ready to follow instructions closely and start getting rid of your tinnitus sooner rather than later. So let's sum it up. The secret to a successful treatment lies in your commitment and willingness to kickstart therapy with a positive attitude along with patience and trust. It's about doing everything that's required and following all instructions diligently until the therapy is complete. This way, the success of the entire process of achieving true relief from tinnitus is just a matter of time and nothing else. So like everything in our lives, it all begins with your willingness to take a risk and change what you are not happy with. It involves making an effort, showing willingness, and committing to the process. Our job as professionals is to help you by providing treatment options, assisting in therapy, and guiding you through this process to ensure you are successful. When tinnitus gradually appears and progresses, it serves as a warning sign. It tells you that you must take action as soon as possible to prevent tinnitus from becoming an uncontrollable monster that will slowly take away pieces of your life. Please don't ignore it, but take steps to address it. Once again, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. It's where you can find answers to most of your tinnitus-related questions. Our specialists with over 15 years of experience working closely with tinnitus sufferers provide valuable solutions and insights. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of knowledge and support we want to share with all tinnitus sufferers. Talking about this part of our work, we are very pleased to inform you that we've got some fantastic news to share for all tinnitus sufferers in Southern Ontario. Our clinic is currently providing low-cost consultations for a limited time, specifically for those of you who are suffering from severe or catastrophic tinnitus. To make an appointment, use a link to our website or call our clinic directly. Also, we have decided to offer a special one-in-the-clinic-visit-only program to all patients whom we refer to as distant patients coming from various locations in Canada and the U.S., especially when local professional tinnitus treatment clinics are not accessible to them. This program is just a continuation of what we used to do for many years and is built on the successful implementation of the most effective therapies used in our clinic. Like many processes in our brain, tinnitus is not yet fully understood because of its complexity and involvement in many parts of the brain. However, it is known well enough to produce some theories that seem universally accepted and confirmed by countless research findings. It's true that there is no cure for tinnitus, and it may be difficult to find. Still, there is enough information and research findings to produce a solid foundation for some therapies, many of which have been used for over two decades now. Professionally, 
These therapies are utilized when dealing with chronic, severe, or even catastrophic tinnitus, as assessed by the Tinnitus Handicap Inventory Scale. Therefore, when using only one currently effective treatment, regardless of the underlying tinnitus cause, it is recognized that the progression of this treatment can limit the extent of tinnitus symptoms. This includes not only reducing the tinnitus noise, but also reducing the time during which patients are conscious of the presence of tinnitus. Moreover, during even the first stages of a proper chronic tinnitus treatment, and with some activity in our brain, tinnitus awareness, including noise in the ears and other symptoms, is first greatly reduced and then is eventually removed from the patient's awareness, as it becomes insignificant. Please do remember to leave a comment sharing what topics you'd like us to cover in our videos. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you find value in our content. Thank you for tuning in.